Hi friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss about properties or props in React. So I sincerely request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. In the video about components, I mentioned that we have five components and these components are reusable. So you can create a component that returns any JavaScript XML you want to and include it in any part of your React application. So the React components are reusable. The reusability can be achieved with the help of these properties or props in React. Let me go to the Visual Studio. In app.js, I have one functional component called fun. Now here I am using it only once. Now if I execute this program, say we got the output as welcome to PT. Now this functional component, I want to reuse it. Suppose let me copy this one and paste it two more times. Then if I save this program and if I execute it, now if you observe that we got the output as welcome to PT, welcome to PT, welcome to PT. However, it is not very useful for us. I want to display content like hello Jagadish, hello Siri, hello Parnika. So where I want to pass Jagadish, Siri, Parnika as the values with the help of props. So to do that one, what I will do is that I will go to the parnika.js. Here I will write simply hello Jagadish. Now let me save this one. And if you verify it, we are still getting the output as hello Jagadish, hello Jagadish, hello Jagadish. Now I want to display like hello Jagadish first then hello Siri, then hello Parnika. To do that one, props will be useful for us. Props or properties is the optional input that your component can accept it and also allows the component to be dynamic. Here you are just getting hello Jagadish multiple times. But if I want to display some information, that information I want to pass to the component that I can do with the help of props or properties. So I can say that props are the properties is the optional input that your component can accept it. It also allows the component to be dynamic. So what I will do here is that instead of just displaying hello Jagadish multiple times, I want to display hello Jagadish first time, then hello Siri, hello Parnika. So to do that one, I will use an attribute called name and that name attribute, I will provide the value as Jagadish first time. Second time, I will provide the value as Siri. Third time, I will provide the value as Parnika. Now, if I save it, still you cannot find any difference. If you want to verify, let me execute it or let me refresh it. Still you are getting the hello Jagadish only because you are passing that information. That information need to be retrieved. Let me discuss how to retrieve these values in the fun component. First, we need to add a parameter to the functional component because this is the functional component. I hope you know what is the difference between the functional component and the class component. This is the functional component and this is the class component. First, let me discuss these properties or the props with respect to the functional components. Then I will discuss with respect to the class components. I will pass a optional parameter. Here I mentioned the name as props. You can mention any name but generally people prefer to use the name as props. You can use any name but generally people will use props and then I will mention the curly braces. Within the curly braces I will write console.log props and then I will write return h1 tag in place of hello Jagadish I will write curly braces and I will use the props dot the attribute name is what name so I will save this one now if you verify it 
we got the output as hello jagadish hello siri hello parnika here props is an object am i right it's because the, here the props is an object that contains the attributes and the values so here props is an object name is an attribute and parnika siri jagadish are the values so props is an object that contains the attributes and their values which have been passed from the parent component here the parent component is what from the app.js you are passing to the parnika.js i can say that or to the fun functional component so the reusability of the components have been achieved with the help of props now let me add one more attribute or the property so i will go to the app.js i will write hobby is equal to let's take that jagadish hobby is swimming okay siri hobby we will consider as shopping and parnika hobby let's consider that playing and then i want to save this one and i'll go to the parnika.js in the functional component i will write hobby is and then i will write curly braces the curly braces are important then props object and the attribute name is hobby and now let me save this one and let me save this one also we are getting some issue what is the issue we are facing oh two times we have opened the this one yeah now it is absolutely fine we can verify it we got the output as hello jagadish hobby is swimming hello siri hobby is shopping hello parnika hobby is playing so like this we can achieve the reusability of the components with the help of props now let me make it little bit complex if you observe here we are using the self closing tag instead of self closing tag i will split this tag into opening tag and close tag if you observe here we are using the fun which is a self closing tag instead of that one i will use the fun opening tag and fun closing tag so to do that one i will write fun name is equal to jagadish hobby is equal to swimming i will not close here and then inside this one i will use some paragraph tag and i will write swimming is the best exercise then i will close the fun tag so if you observe here here we are using the fun self closing tag however here we are using the fun opening tag and then fun closing tag inside that one i have used the paragraph tag now this one i want to pass it to the parnika.js or to the functional component there i want to display the data in fun component we can render the paragraph using the props dot children let me do that one so i will write return instead of h1 i will use the div tag because at a time we can render only one html element because here we want to render the h1 element and also the paragraph element at a time we cannot render two html elements so instead of that one i will render only one html element that is div tag i will keep the div tag and inside the div tag i will provide the h1 tag and the props dot children also so do that i will mention here props dot children props is an object and attribute is children now let me save this one now you can see that we got the output as hello jagadish hobby is swimming swimming is the best exercise similarly what i will do i will go to the app dot js and again let me copy this one and then paste it here and name is equal to siri hobby is equal to shopping i will cut and paste and here i will create a button and let me close the button now let me save the parnika.js app.js 
and go to the browser you can see that we got a button so like this we can use the opening tag and also the closing tag instead of using the self closing tag let me discuss how to use the properties or props with the class component in hollow.js we have the welcome component which is a class component so I will go to the app.js I will delete entire content and then I want to import welcome which is available in components and hollow.js so in place of pernica I will write hollow and then I will use the welcome self-closing tag let me save this app.js hello.js now you can observe we got the output as welcome to my world let me duplicate this welcome class component tag so i will copy this one and paste it twice let me save it and let me go to the browser and you can see that we got the output as welcome to my world welcome to my world welcome to my world i will write name is equal to Jagadish and then hobby I will write it as swimming so I'm using two attributes called name and hobby and let me copy this one and paste it here and I will write here Siri and here in place of swimming I will write shopping similarly let me paste it here value I'm providing as Parnika and hobby I'm providing it as playing now in app.js I am providing these values these values I want to pass it to the welcome class component class components the properties are available through this dot props which is reserved in class component in functional components we specify the props parameters in a prop object with the help of an attribute name so here what we need to do is that we need to use return welcome to I will provide the curly braces open curly braces and closing curly braces and then I will write this dot props then we will use the attribute name let me provide the attribute name as name let me save this one go to the browser and let me refresh it we got the output as welcome to Jagadish welcome to Siri welcome to Parnika so like this we can use the props in the class components how we have done using the this dot props and then we have used the attribute name and then let me provide here as hobby is and then let me open the curly braces and let me close it inside that one I will write this dot props dot the attribute name is hobby let me save this one go to the browser you can see the output as welcome to Jagadish hobby is swimming welcome to Siri hobby is shopping welcome to Pernika hobby is playing so like this you can use the props in the functional component and also in the class components please remember one important point related to the props props are immutable means their value cannot be changed you know that we have mutable and immutable immutable means their value cannot be changed mutable means their value can be changed props are immutable means their value cannot be changed so in our pernica.js I will try to assign a value to the prop so I will write props dot name name is an attribute and I will try to assign a value as Ravi and then in the app.js in place of welcome I will write fun and that fun we are importing from the pernica.js which is there in the component so I will write import fun from components pernica and then here I will write fun and here also I will write fun now let me save this one let me save this one go to the browser we are getting the error what is the error we are getting name is read only so we cannot change the value which is assigned to the props so props are 
immutable i hope you have understood what is a prop how we can pass the props in the functional components and also in the class components if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day